All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you been wondering what it's like to print with PC and what the print quality is when you do print with PC? Have you seen some of the new translucent filaments and wondered what that looks like specifically with the PC? Well, I had those questions too. In today's video, we'll be going over how to print with PC and in particular with the translucent PC. I have printed one other time with the PC and it was this uh, spool cover that we'll be using today to dry out the new filament. And I was super impressed by the quality of uh, the print with this. It's very, very hard, very, very good, uh, you know, looking. Um, looks like it's fairly uh, decent material to print with. So I got a roll of the translucent and I thought it would be cool for us to print one of these spool holders as well as we'll go ahead and print one of these um, a replacement spool for our filament with the translucent kind of like the bamboo uh, spool um, that I have right here. So in today's video, we'll go over all of the steps on how to print and then we'll do two prints. And then after at the end, we'll go over those prints. So if all that sounds good and sit back and relax, I'll get everything ready. All right, so to dry it out, we will need something to cover up the filament um, while it's in the X1 drying out. And you can use one of these spool um, ones that you can print out if you haven't done that already, or you can use an old box. All right, so let's get it set up to dry out. So we'll go over to our settings there. Utilities, dry filament. And we'll change this to the filament that we want, which is PC. Recommended for this is ADC for eight hours. So we'll go ahead and let it prepare. All right, now we'll put the filament in there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and cover the filament. And now we'll hit start. I'll see you in eight hours. All right, now that it's done drying, we'll go ahead and take it out and put it in the AMS. All right, now that we have everything loaded in the AMS, we'll go ahead and look at this uh, wiki for filament and plate compatibility and parameter settings. I'll leave a link to this below, but we can go through and make sure that we're doing everything correctly here. So we do have a 0.4 nozzle. Uh, it's compatible with the AMS. Here's the heat bed settings. So it does recommend a glue stick on there, but not the liquid glue. And then here's the build plate compatibility. We'll be using the high temperature plate, which is this one, but you can use the dual sided or the engineering plate if you want to in there. So now that we have all of that information, which it's all loaded kind of from the RFID, uh, we do want to keep the upper glass closed on there. We do want to use the glue stick and we do want to use the high temperature plate. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the drying wiki and here's all of the documentation on drying the filaments and everything. But what it has here is this drying cover. Um, and that's one of the things that we'll uh, print today. Uh, one of the things that I've already printed with PC that I found super useful and what we'll do for the video today. So go ahead and click on that, download that and I'll meet you in Orca. All right, and now that we have it loaded in here, you'll see it loaded it this way. Um, it's not actually gonna print on that rounded edge right there, so what we're gonna wanna do is lay it on this face. We'll try and see if it will lay flat. That would be the best way to print it, but I believe we do have to print it up and down like that. 
Um, so the trick here is to just click this lay on face. You can do the rotate and all of that, but that takes forever. Um, so let's lay it on that face. Yeah, it actually fits in there like that. That'd be the best way to print it. So let's go ahead and print it that way. Alternatively, if you wanted to print it like it was showing, you could click on that. It would print it that way, but I think we'll be okay printing it just like so. The other thing that we can do here is hit this auto align button and that'll line it up so it's not doing anything there. It's barely gonna miss that stuff and it might print into the one up at the top right here, but that's fine. So we'll see that we have the PC loaded in slot one right there and we'll go over the settings. I didn't change anything because it's what the RFID put in there. So we'll leave everything the same. See that it does have a pretty high max volumetric speed though. All right, so let's slice it, see how long that's gonna take. All right, about four and a half hours. So we'll go ahead and hit print. And we do wanna do flow calibration and time lapse and everything for this one. Um, Cause I haven't calibrated the PC uh, filament just yet. So we'll go ahead and let it do its flow calibration and do all of that and I'll see you guys in four and a half hours. All right, now that we're done with the drying cover. I found this cool uh, spool holder here on printables. There's a bunch of them out here, but I thought this one was kind of cool and you can print out labels and everything for him for this as well. Um, <clears throat> so this is the one that we'll print out and it's just under these spool files here. So let's go back into Orca and we'll take out the drying cover there. And then let's bring in one of the pieces of the spool holder. And this is the wide. There's one that's wide and one that's narrow. So we'll print this one. We'll hit the auto align button. And we'll slice it. And it looks like it'll take a little over three hours to print this one side. So we'll go ahead and get that going. Make sure everything is set up for us here. And we'll go ahead and hit print. And now for the second piece of the spool, so same thing, we'll slice the plate. And this one will take just over three hours. So we'll go ahead and hit print, make sure everything's good to go, and we'll send it on its way. See you in three hours. All right, so let's look at how this printed out and the first thing that I want to comment on is how smooth this is. There's really no ridges. Some of you were printing the little Y tubes or whatever. I would recommend doing them out of PC. It's very, very smooth. Even where you see these ridges here, it's still very smooth to the touch and very, very hard. And I did notice that with the white one that I did. And then the spool holder, that also turned out really well. And I've actually done a few of those out of PC, uh, some with the white, as you can see here. And then I'll probably print a couple more out of these because these turned out really, really nice. And again, they look like pearl and they fit together just perfect. So definitely be using these and these definitely recommend the PC. If you need something that's very, very hard and smooth, really, really good print quality as well. The bamboo PC is very, very good.
Uh, so I hope this helped everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe. Thank you to all my patrons, and uh, I'll see everybody next week. Thank you.